Hello, everyone. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Aircraft Electronics Association Convention in Nashville, Tennessee. If you've heard a buzzing sound recently in your neighborhood, it might be just one of the uh, quadcopter uh, drones we're about to look at here. Brad Hayden. Uh, Brad was formerly at uh, Aspen, has now started his own company called Robotic Skies. Brad, before we get into Robotic Skies, let's take a real quick look at the kind of flying you're doing, which I find absolutely fascinating. Sure, this is my quadcopter in my backyard. It's equipped with first-person view, basically meaning it has a camera system that transmits out to a pair of goggles that you can kind of see me wearing there. And so I can actually see uh, the view, point of view, from the, the craft itself. So let me show you a, a video that I took uh, flying first-person view out of my backyard of my house. So here we take off and uh, turn away from my house, get a little altitude to clear that tree, and now we're back over the arroyo behind my house, uh, flying a pattern back there, and you can see we're at about 11 meters or 33 feet. And then down I do in a the slow... lower left there, we've got a uh, lat long. That's right, we have lat long, we have a compass system right there, you can see our altitude again. That arrow right there is actually pointing to uh, where home is, so it tells me where I need to come back to land. So here I am coming back into my backyard. I'm clearing that retaining wall there, losing a little altitude, slowing down a little bit. And then I set her down. Uh, there's the inevitable FPV selfie. Mm -hmm. And I sit down right there in my backyard. Okay, so now let's talk about the reason we're here at AEA. You formed a company, Robotic Skies, uh, that is going to service and provide full support for what you see as a pretty good sized fleet of these things. And, before we got on camera here, you quoted some numbers that are just fantastic. That's right. Tell me about that. Sure. The Association of Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, which is the trade organization for the commercial drone industry, is projecting that there's going to be a million point two five drones flying commercially in the national airspace in the United States alone within a 10-year period from 2015 to 2025. If, car, if the FAA can meet their congressionally mandated uh, deadlines for UAS integration. That's an $82 billion business is what they're projecting. So even if they're half right, that's going to be a lot of airframes flying around in the airspace that are going to require maintenance. So Robotic Skies is, is really going to be a, n a network of shops, uh, 145 approved shops right now that will take this on as additional business providing full support, not just maintenance, correct? That's correct. Uh, Robotic Skies, again, to your point, is, is a network of 145 repair stations currently serving the manned fleet. Um, they're going to be brought under this network and then work directly with the manufacturers so that we can get the service manuals, the return to, uh, operation manuals for each one of these uh, drones that are going to be out there flying from the manufacturer so that we can actually service them appropriately. Now, you're here at AAA in Nashville to recruit dealers. That's correct. We've got nine service centers already within our network, and I anticipate bringing in a whole lot more. This is going to be a big opportunity for aviation, and I think that the future of flight really is the integration of the unmanned vehicles with uh, manned aviation. How do they find you? They can find me at www.roboticskies.com. Great. I'm looking forward to coming out to Albuquerque and have you fly me around. Absolutely. In this. I'm looking forward to having you, Paul. Thanks. Maybe a lot cheaper than my cup. <laughs> it sure would be. <laughs> this is Paul Bertarelli with Brad Hayden from Robotic Skies reporting from AA in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for watching.